And I used to have an imagination. I think I've lost it. I've had a lot of time to think about this. My theory is, I lost my imagination around 1967 or thereabouts. Most of you were not around. I was a, a, a small boy uh, high on anti-hyperactive drugs, living in small apartment buildings in the Northwest Quadrant of Washington, D.C. We had my single mom who had a bad paying government job, imagine her frustration, raising a child who was an armload. I was bouncing all around the room, I was nuts. And so she would give me anti-hyperactive drugs, like that's gonna work. And I'd have really bad sleep. I'd sleep in the fetal position. Like if you ever had the dog that always dreams about hunting something, and so they're kind of <laughs> That's how I would sleep for like between 40 minutes and two hours a night. In 1960-something, as it headed towards 1970, teeth started falling out of my pointy head, and I was aware of that, and I never had any belief in the Easter Bunny or in Santa Claus, and I didn't think that if you lost a tooth and shoved it under your pillow, some uh, 3D Pixar fairy with multiple wing sets would hover gently over your head, uh, extract the tooth, and put goodies underneath the pillow. So I didn't think there was a tooth fairy. I did believe in the transactional value, the potential of transactional value. If I could illustrate to my mother, I lost the tooth and it's going under the pillow, wink, wink, nod, nod, leave cool stuff under the pillow, when you take it out while I'm having my short, uh, fevered burst of, of Ritalin adult sleep. And so it was like 1960-something when I lost my imagination, I'm sure of it. Here's how it happened.